It's Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at noon on Monday. Travel totals, they were back up at the tunnels this weekend. Almost 133,000 cars in three days. That's 5,000 more than last weekend, 2,000 less than the same time last year. Colorado State Patrol is taking a page from Summit County Sheriff today. Right now at a major press conference, State Patrol is releasing body cam footage from a recent deadly incident. They say a trooper was ambushed. The trooper shot and killed his assailant. The footage at today's press conference will not be uncut. State Patrol says it's built a timeline of events with relevant footage and narration. Summit Sheriff took a similar tactic last year with curated footage from Summit Cove, where local teenager Charlie Foster was shot and killed by police. A teenager in Eagle is accused of spreading those alarming social media posts last week, threatening violence against local schools. Authorities have arrested the unnamed teen. They do not believe this person made other threats against schools in Lake County. Town of Minturn is wrapping up a real estate fiasco worth $43 million. This is from the Colorado Sun. Minturn has reclaimed land from a developer who promised homes, a rec center, and a ski area 16 years ago. Town officials say tenacity and a good legal team made it all happen. Does big money make for better schools and happier teachers? Teachers in Utah make less than anywhere else in the nation, but a new report from WalletHub says Utah is one of the best states to be a teacher. Benefits, support, and class size cancel out those low wages. Colorado, we rank bottom half of this list. ESPN is back on direct TV after a nearly two-week blackout. The satellite provider and Disney have settled a programming dispute. 11 million direct TV subscribers lost dozens of Disney-owned stations in that scuffle. Stargazers are buzzing about a lunar trifecta happening tomorrow night. The harvest moon supermoon, a blood moon, and a partial solar eclipse. The best time to see it all is just after moonrise tomorrow around 8.40 p.m. NASA tells NPR having all three at once is quite rare. It will not happen again for almost a decade. Local fire danger remains high today in Summit. Still no fire restrictions. In sports, the Broncos lost to the Steelers yesterday 13-6. The Rockies lost to the Cubs 6-2. Today, the Rockies play the Diamondbacks at 640. The Rocks are seven games out from 100 losses. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. The Summit High golf team won its home tournament last week in one of the tightest finishes ever at Keystone Ranch. The Tigers beat second place Eagle Valley by one point. Third place, Monta Vista, by two points. Today, the golf team, they're playing at Eisenhower Golf Club in Colorado Springs. More than 660 high school girls ran at the Liberty Bell Cross Country Race in Littleton Saturday, and Summit's Ella Hagen beat them all. She set a course record with her third consecutive finish under 17 minutes. At home on Saturday, Lady Tigers Volleyball, they lost to Delta in three sets. On Friday, football lost to Canyon City 21 to nothing. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.